Hi there, it's Gary from Cool Smartphone here and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, today we're going to have a look at Dell's USB Type-C 22 inch monitor. So without further ado, let's dive in. So this seems as good a place to start as any. Um, this is my Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 which has USB Type-C connection on either side. Uh, I'll just try and zoom in on that for you. Now as you can see there that has the DisplayPort logo on it um, so it does support display out. There is also one on the other side as well but that's currently powering my machine up. This is a great laptop, um, it's great for portability however it does have um, an issue when it comes to uh, being able to use peripherals. Now in the past I have got around this by using this product here which is the Anchor Premium 7-in-1 USB Type-C Hub. This actually will get done as part of a separate review. However, moving back to the question uh, we're looking at. So when I uh, was at IFA last year I was given a preview of one of the USB Type-C monitors. It was a beast it was 27 inches now this is my work setup as you can see it's not very big my home office so what I've got here um, is Dell's 22 inch USB type C monitor um, and you can see here there's a black cable in the background this black cable all I need to do to connect the two up is to plug it in. So that's it now plugged in. If we go back to the monitor, it should automatically identify. There you go, it's automatically identified it's plugged into my computer and it's now sharing my display. If I go back onto my computer, you can also see that because I have a USB drive plugged in, it is also now sharing that USB drive. And that is due to the fact that on the back of this monitor, bear, in my, bear with me a second, we have a USB hub just buried away there at the back. Now there's actually two USB type A ports and also your USB output cable. There's an HDMI output as well and there's your power supply. The stand itself is quite substantial so we have quite a large range of movement. Uh, you can tilt forward and back and you can raise the entire monitor up and down. It's quite difficult to do one handed so I'm not going to try and do that. Uh, good, solid, sturdy stand. The monitor itself is pretty thin. Um, the bezels, as you can see, are virtually non-existent apart from the bottom bezel. Underneath here, sorry, underneath here you can see these are your menu buttons. If we press into that one, that gives us an on-screen menu. And there's various functions that you can go through, various settings with uh, some quick controls on there as well. Um, this has allowed me to set it up pretty much exactly as I would want it. Um, it does have display port, standard display port capability as well. Um, so it's, it's a pretty good monitor to be honest. I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I do love the ability that it allows me to uh, spread my workflow. Just let me change the hand over. So you can see here on the computer Let's just pan down there. I have two tabs open. Now if I open this tab up and I'll just drag this across. You can now see that I have um, split my workflow over two screens and this is particularly useful when I find myself writing articles. Um, the other cool thing you can do which I will need to do as part of a separate video is because this is USB Type-C, I can actually use this monitor 
as a display for my phone. So I can plug my phone into this and as I use a Samsung Galaxy 9, S9, sorry, um, it will allow me to facilitate the use of DeX, um, albeit with a Bluetooth keyboard. So we will, I will do a little video on that in uh, due course um, and link it into the review of this Dell, Dell USB Type-C monitor, 22 inch. Um, if anyone is interested in getting one of these, the model code is P2219HC. Nice and catchy there. Um, I will put a link in the review. So that's just a quick overview of this monitor from Dell. Um, there will be more content available in the review, uh, which is on coolsmartphone.com. So thank you very much for your time today, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.